lá em cima, né? Aqui, ó. We can see the guy there. I think they hit him because the guy is he looks dead. To me, as you're trying to figure out if you're okay, what's going on, was he shot, was he wounded? Then we heard him on the microphone, Shannon, saying, let me grab my shoes as they tried to take them off. So we're just trying to figure out what happened. So this is what we know so far. I'm trying to dig up as much as I can for you guys. Uh, but apparently, obviously, he was killed, right, uh, on the spot, on the roof. There are some details that are coming out that are a little fishy here, right? A little fishy. And we're going to jump into that. Okay, we're going to get into it. So first off, from what I've learned, uh, this attempted assassin was an Antifa member. So he was a member of Antifa, allegedly. And he has attended more than one rally, apparently. And also he was using an AR style rifle that they recovered. And apparently, according to some witnesses, they saw this guy climbing up on the roof, right? The dude was climbing up on the roof, right? Because as you guys know, that's, you know, that's the best, that's the best place to be if you want to get a good shot at somebody, right? You want to be somewhere high. So the dude's climbing on the roof and it's like, hey, man, where's the Secret Service in all this? What were you guys doing? How can you not see this dude climbing the roof? But people down below did so apparently this eyewitness said that he saw the dude on the roof uh with his rifle for uh, a good two to three minutes before he actually fired at the uh, former president donald trump so yeah there's some fishy things going on here i mean not with the eyewitness but the fact that the dude was able to get up there and nobody stopped him nobody was like hey hey, hey. you know uh yeah, I mean, what were these guys doing? Are they asleep at the wheel? Or is there something deeper here? You know, is this like a Lee Harvey Oswald type deal? And interestingly, this assassination attempt is the first assassination attempt on a president since Ronald Reagan, right? Since 1981. So pretty crazy to think about. And also, if you guys want some gruesome details about how they took him out, According to this same witness and a few other people that saw this go down, uh, apparently the uh, Secret Service, they, uh, they blew his head off, right? So that's what I've heard. Uh, I heard that uh, as soon as they identified that somebody was shooting at uh, Trump, they went ahead and took his head off, like li literally and figuratively, if you can imagine that. So. Just kind of reminds me of that, uh, that saying, you know, live by the sword, die by the sword, because apparently this guy was very angry. He made some posts on social media that, you know, we're going to have justice finally, going to have justice, you know. And, you know, according to him, his form of justice was violence, right? It's party, party of nonviolence. <laughs> but anyway, so he, yeah. He was posting on his social media, which uh, I'm pretty sure they're already right now. I mean, they're not releasing the guy's name or anything like that because, you know, what they're going to do is they're just going to take down his all his social media. Any posts that were alarming that he might have posted that will make the uh, swamp look bad, they are going to go ahead and remove those obviously right because it doesn't fit the narrative however if it were the reverse i guarantee if this was the reverse and say biden had a rally you know and uh, the eight people that actually show up to his rally uh like say one of them was a shooter and this this whole thing went down but in the reverse oh my gosh man yeah it would be i mean <laughs> they would come after basically anybody who calls themselves uh you know a, a conservative or a republican Right, I mean, you gotta love the uh, the double standard going on here. Uh, however, as you can see from the uh, media, now they're doing their normal spin, and uh, of course, you know, you have politicians on both sides, you know, that clearly hated Trump to begin with, slowly starting to leak out on their social media, like, oh my gosh, so terrible, so terrible. 
I hope his, he and his family are okay and he's, you know, he recovers swiftly and all this and it's just, you know, it's just part of the uh, dog and pony show. I, I don't buy it for a second. I, I think these people, you know, I think deep down a lot of them are thinking, man, this guy's a terrible shot, right? I mean, why, why, how could you miss? How could you miss, right? Which is kind of true. He is a terrible shot. I mean, dude, you're on the roof. You got a clear shot and you still missed. <laughs> So, I mean, sadly though, sadly, somebody else was injured at the uh, the rally. So somebody died, right? So two people died at this rally. One was just an innocent rally attendee who apparently, I guess, might've gotten in the way. And then the uh, the second person that uh, died is obviously the, the, the shooter, right? But it, it's hard to have any sympathy for the shooter. I mean, I, I think if anything, I might have sympathy for you know, the anger and the hate in his heart. Uh, because, again, you live by the sword, you die by the sword, man. I mean, imagine just being so angry, you know, assuming that he was he's not a plant, right? I mean, just assuming he's not a uh, an agent or a plant or anything like that. Because they took him out pretty quickly, right? Just like they kind of took out uh, Oswald pretty quickly. But assuming he's not a plant, just the, uh, you know, the anger that he's... He was carrying around inside of him to, to the point where he, you know, he went to this rally. I mean, he pretty much threw his life away, right? I mean, the world is, you know, life is beautiful, man. Life is beautiful. Look at this. I had this perfect day today. You know, I went shopping for a, a car earlier. I was at the Benz dealership when all this broke down. I'm like sitting there in the lobby and... Uh, was looking at one of the cars and then they had a little TV there and they showed the Trump thing and I'm like, oh, I got to jump on this. The salesman's like, hey, where are you going? I'm like, I'll be right back. I got to I gotta film this real quick. So anyway, yeah, so that is what we know so far. And uh, yeah, the dude, you know, there, there's no close-up shots of this yet, but I, I don't know if they'll release that. But apparently, according to the witnesses, he got his head blown off. <laughs> you know, I mean... He could have been anywhere today, right? I mean, really, you know, and at, when it comes down to it, I mean, I really believe this will cost the, the left the election. I mean, if they lose, which looks like it's heading towards there, I mean, they will point back to, I mean, the string of incidents, but this will be the final nail in the coffin. I mean, you just, come on, man. I, this is just going way too far. And as far as, you know, uh, the most dangerous threat to the world being white supremacy and all that good luck spinning that narrative now that you tried to kill the president you know the former president you know so uh but anyway that's what i know so far and uh i just want to make sure to cover this because i mean this is a really you know it's not something we normally cover you know how i feel about politics guys but i mean this is a really really uh serious event and i wanted to you know make sure i i covered for you and uh, kind of give you, uh, you know, the facts without really inserting my opinion so much, you know. But uh, anyway, uh, you guys, let me know what you think of this, and what do you think happens, you know, from here moving forward. Let me know, and any other thoughts that you want to share, you know, share them below, because it's yeah, it's pretty, it's just pretty alarming. I mean, it's just to me, it just. It's just crazy how people will just throw their lives away over politics and something stupid like this. And, you know, I mean, it's like Donald Trump that much of a threat to you that you go to a rally, you risk your own life. This guy basically went on a kamikaze mission, dude, you know, and and uh, you threw your life away. Yeah, so uh, and I, I really and I believe in the afterlife. I have faith. So I. I would not want to go out like that, right? I would want to go out just doing good for humanity and adding value to people's lives and trying to be the best person I can, being nonviolent. So drop your comments below. My dad's calling me right now. Yeah. So drop your comments below.